I don't I don't want to shoot the cat. Please don't make me shoot the cat. There we go. Okay, it was a rat. Ha ha. Yes, sir. Got him. He's gonna be coming out through one of those do Oh, snap. So he's gonna be coming out of whatever one that you are not looking at at the time. Yes, that's that seems to be the case. Good job. Oh, look at that! He tried to fake you out. Boy, he's durable, huh? He certainly is. Must be armor. Oh my god. Oh! It's fuck! Why don't you just shoot wildly down the hallway? I mean, what's, you know... There you go. Wow, buddy! Wow! No. Some form of space snatcher. But I'm a police knot. Not anymore, you're not. No. You're not. Damn, I hope Lorraine's okay. Oh, wow! Really? Yeah. No way! That's ridiculous. Come on! That's ridiculous. <laughs> Next time I won't miss. Get the fuck out! That's super good, I love it. Get the fuck out! That's ridiculous. You're silly. How quickly do you splatter your own blood? It just happened to drip out of him in that pattern. Coward! Get out here and kill me, you bastard! Talking shit with your blood that that's, I shot out of you. That's a good trick. He's got to be. He's got to be just like right around that that little corner. Got to be. Come on. The only part like somebody could hide was that hollow over there. That little, that little nook right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't really tell. Oh, darn. Unless he, like... Unless he jumped. jumped. No. Nah, he couldn't climb it. That's All impossible. Right. Oh, look at that. We got a cutscene? Got a fancy little cutscene? Yep. Oh! Now the fuck is in red. Yeah, I noticed that. Dodge. What? You're wearing your fake ass badge around your neck? Feeling good about being a not cop. Yeah, fire indiscriminately into the public. There you go. Uh-oh, I accidentally hit a cop car. That will be difficult to explain. <sighs> God damn it. Well, that's chapter one of Police Knots. What a what a really super classic, even though it's all space future, w way to start your fucking detective story. Yeah. It's like your old flame dame shows up and is like, oh, my, my husband... My husband came in, he's dead, or what? I don't know, and then there's an explosion, and then a gunfight, and then the guy gets away. Of course he gets away. Not, not a bad one. He has to get away. And he's not human. Unless it was the husband, after all. It's interesting to see, again, like, unconstrained to Kojima. Yeah. Like, the, the setting is yours, everything yeah. is yours. I mean, like, rather, the setting is a new one. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's super dead. No, you're only 55. You have your whole life ahead of you. In fact, you could have multiple lives ahead of you. Who knows in this future? That's true. <laughs> there might be some crazy tech right around the corner. Karen Sick, you have to help my daughter. Oh, you have 
to. You you must bone Jigo. my daughter. She's so lonely. Do finish what you started. <laughs> Gonna, no! <laughs> gonna give you a mulligan on this one. No! <laughs> oh, that's the worst. You want some cynicism? You want some hard ass fucking cynicism? Go for it. Alright. Oh, it's the American Space Line. Cool. The only reason that her Age sex location? Uh uh the only reason her husband is also half Japanese, half American is so that the daughter can stay half Japanese, half, half American, American like his ex-wife. There you go. Keeping it pure. Oh, that's the best! Yeah, that's I nice. fucking love in Gundam when gravity yeah. just is like shut up. It's super cool. It is so inconsistent in Gundam. How awesome is it when they grab the railing handles on the side and then they just Follow Whoa. them along the ships. Who the fuck is this psycho murderer? <laughs> this villain in waiting? This Zen Trotty? Oh, he's got the uh, police knots badge on his uh, uh, patch on his jacket. He does. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of, um,. Die Hard. Yeah. How so? The very first scene of Die Hard is um, uh, uh, John McClane in the plane and he hates flying. Ah. Uh, 1994. Tony Redwood. And then uh, the guy tells him to take his ox off and curl his, fees, uh, his toes in the carpet. And that'll help him get over his anxiety. Okay. And that's why he has no shoes on for the whole movie. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a... I hate space. So I guess freaks like you are normal. This is the style. Oh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking... Am I infecting you with my bullshit? Holy is shit. that what's happening? Yo, crazy talk immediately. Today you have had like three. That's awesome. Three big moments. That's awesome. What's up with your fucking forehead? All Frozeners have one. Frozeners? Okay, let's ask about that. I would extremely want to know what a Frozener is. Perhaps somebody... Because of my artificial blood, my red blood cells are actually white. White, white blood. blood. Use first generation artificial blood, which is less complex than the third generation kind. You see it on home. Okay. Yeah, a little. Because I don't know what that is. Be oh, there's careful. Frozeners everywhere. Ah. No, no. Jonathan's not the discriminating type. We've established that. Well, not that. against these good Frozeners. Does that motherfucker have a bandage on his fucking right arm? Yeah, he does. So is this... Bit. Is this... Is this the motherfucker right here? No right? Way. They would not even... That, the, come on. Let's be real. Mm -hmm. Well, you just keep staring at this guy. I know. I Ask just, him about being a frozen. I'm checking him out. Burned it a little, huh? Did you? Can I look at myself? Or did I? That's. Oh, there you go. Oh, Tony looks at him. Yeah. Oh, police knots. How quaint. That's a cool name for a job. It's a fake one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a fake bad. I hope no one's gonna ask me about it. It's, it's me. It me. All right, let's talk. Hey, can we talk? I need something to take my mind off me shitting my pants in this spaceship. So, Tony Redgrave, what, 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 what what's going on with you? Where are you from? What's up with your skin color? It's horrible. Where are and there... it makes me sick to look at. Are there more of you? <laughs> yes. From you from beyond. Yes. Oh, is this just what? Mm. That's where that's what Beyonders look like. Uh, excuse me, Frozeners. Terrestrial. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Give me. Am a yeah, amphibians are those who go back and forth between home and beyond. Is an amphibian. You know one of the amphibians. Oh, okay. So I guess home is Earth. 
I assume so. I like that it's capitalized. Yeah, there. that's that's cool. Might not make sense, but beyond is home to me. I guess but not Rosen capital H home. Grosners don't really ho have a home. Capital H home, not home, not yeah. capital. Yeah, got it. First generation artificial, you know, something like that. I am a Frozener after all. What about yeah? How how'd you yeah? What if, hey? Can I see what, it? I what kind of burn? It. I want to see it. Tell me about your burn. Mr. Pretty guy. Not really. I just blow up your wife. Very nice. It's a nice. One G artificial gravity in its own plant life. I'm a big fan of one G gravity. One G's pretty good, but I could really go for some point eight G. Oh, just to feel better, just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Feel like less of a fatty. Anybody, anybody that wow, did you, did you need to, was that was that really wow, wow yes. <laughs> <laughs> we all would. Oh man. There's a there's a problem. Third, okay, hold on. Beyond is hitting its thirtieth birthday. Is that what I just read? Yes. Okay. There there is a problem with going to somewhere with lower gravity, uh, or being born somewhere with low. Yes, please, please. Fuck what I was saying. Go, go finish the thought. Uh, it, you if you live there or are born there or grow up there, you will never be able to go back to anywhere that has higher gravity. Uh, you can, but it would be like uh, intensive physical therapy. Not, not if the difference is more than a certain amount. Yeah, okay. <laughs> if you go far enough be, uh, into the the red, if you would, then yes, your, like your, your body and bones like, would just like not people support. who would say be born and live on the moon. Your your would, would your body never, would collapse. Would never be able to live on Earth. Uh, I believe uh, you know those um there's there's that there's that African tribe where they put rings around the girls' necks mm -hmm. every year to elongate them because they think it's sexy. Yeah, but it doesn't. It actually just pushes the ribcage down. And so when you take those rings off, their neck can't support itself. Yeah, no. So it's just used to not that much. It's stress. not. It's not the best idea. No. So don't don't take mooners down to home. Frozen are some artificially fertilized egg held in cryogenic storage. Wait, are you sure the moon isn't isn't? Are you sure it doesn't have to be further than the moon? Well, no, it has nothing to do with distance. It's the gravity. It's the gravity. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Artific. This is this seems like an incredibly important detail. Artificially fertilized egg mm -hmm. held in cryo mm -hmm. by the government or the breeders. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's a term currently that exists. Egg is later trans uh, gestation or delivery. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, they are straight up artificial people. Well, well, they're no, well, they're they're real people that are really born, but they're they're, they're born for the purpose of increasing the population. Yes, but that like space. parts of their development is artificially either mandated or accelerated. Yes, or yes, but they're coming. They originate in balls and they end up in an egg. Yes, so it's normal people. They're human just, beings. Just, just the process has some. Well, I don't know. They need artificial blood. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he was frozen forever. And there, and he mentioned, like, fairly extreme versions of gene therapy earlier. So. Frozeners have an identification code. Tagged in our foreheads. See, that's the problem. That's the that's the problem. Well, that's, that's... You start making people, and even if they're fake sort of people... But that's to stamp down that you're not a real people. I, that's that's <laughs> where it all begins. You're a product. That's the uprising right there. Right there. Why are you gonna give them fucking mean means to uprise? What you gotta yeah, do what, what is the point? Higher your oxygen. It's better. More efficient. Your heart loves it. Heavy blood loss, less of a life-threatening condition. Yeah, okay. Aren't negatively affected in areas of low oxygen density. Well, that would be super good in space. Also, anyone can transfuse to anyone. Yeah. How about that? it's fully artificial. Blood type white. Yeah. Let's see. So, yeah, how come everybody doesn't have artificial blood? Normal person's kidneys and lungs wouldn't be able to process the shit. Ah, well, that's... You need to make slight improvements on your kidneys and lungs via gene therapy. You have to eat the gene seed. That's right. As dictated by the PAX. Uh, uh, I give up. Oh, and you have to go through dialysis. Sure. You have to become this, a space marine. This is, is what I'm literally to say. the exact same white blood that Raiden has. It's one. Well, it's the same white blood. Yeah. Yes. Get one of those extra organs. So you're some kind of fancy robot human, ah? 
but he's not a robot. He's all biological. Yeah. He's just using lots of science to to make his existence happen. Okay. How's it working out for you, tattoo head? Like nothing about him is done the old-fashioned way. Is this a good idea? Yeah. Ask him about the case. All right. Let's see what you think about the police knots. Hey. Huh? Yeah. Well, he's wearing a big. You must be some kind of police knots fan boy. Okay. That's all he feels, huh? <laughs> what about this guy? I don't know them. Okay. I don't know why I showed you that. Look. The Lucas world. It's just like it's like showing you my, my my dog and my kids. Look. Nah. Well. Uh. Mm. Oh. 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 Fuck Frozeners. <laughs> yeah, I hate little. you guys. It's like he has he's sweating super hard in that photo yeah. because he hasn't been given the chance to be racist to for, frozeners yet but he feels like in his heart it's he, a it's a completely new experience for him <laughs> he, he's like I, I think I might need to be racist to these guys but so I, there there's a real opportunity in the this. future to create new races for people there you go <laughs> why stick with the old shit we oh, can mix man. it up they're really different. <laughs> Look at that guy. Yeah, we can all unite and point He's at that guy. He's got a guy. third arm. All right. Oh, man, that's fucking goofy. So this is Lorraine's watch, huh? Radio controlled. Yeah, it's a space watch because we're going into space. And that's why it looks like a fucking Roxio piece of shit from 92. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can call, you can hit the call button, uh, call, uh, the, the flight attendant over to give you some drugs. I guess so. I think we asked him about what mole we really need. Yep, yeah, space is pretty big. An emotionless vacuum, silencing all but the tiniest of organisms. You wanna, you wanna softball that one over? Or, no? Okay. I don't even... And it's gone. I don't know what you wanted. Nothing. I lobbed it, and it was a steroid. Tiniest. Uh, are you saying that I am a small organism, and that I cannot be silenced by space? Emotion, emotionless vacuum, whatever. The fuck are you talking? It's okay. It's alright. I'm. I'm j mm. Big black emotionless void. Okay. All right. Such as. I don't know. Make the joke that you want to make. I don't. I can't make all your jokes for you. That's fine. Let's call a stewardess over. Boop. Our TV. Yeah, I'd actually rather watch Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Just Hold on a minute. what's on TV. Teach us about what people are watching. Is it single female lawyer? Wearing lots of miniskirts hey, and look. being self-reliant? You're watching the BBC News. Oh. How convenient! Oh! Wow, Karen! You look hot! You feel that much you can this? Damn it! Damn! Fuck! Damn! Shit! Damn! Nark! The drug is called Nark! <laughs> That's the best! That's the best ever! Oh, yeah! Tell us, Karen! Oh my god, that's so good! Wow! Wow, it's a super drug! It's heroin, morphine, OC, uh, uh, L LSD? Oh! Tell us about it, Karen. She just said that 30% of all people in space use NARC. That's about right. Okay, okay. You know how anyone who smoked weed in the 80s takes one puff of anything now and loses their shit? Yeah. Because what the fuck are you kids doing? Check out these space drugs. Fast forward that process. Beyond Coast Broadcast. Oh, that's that kind of BBC. Well, it actually be Beyond Broadcasting Coast, but because of Japanese sentence structure. Yes, yada, yada, yes, yada. yes, okay. For a second, I thought we were talking about the BBC we all know and well, love. that's what he says. He literally says the Brits? What? No, no, well... Why are we watching the British news? Oh man, that was man. Narc is the best drug. Or the big black channel. 
That's a that's a channel. You just just fighting to get it in there. Let's call the stewardess over, shall we? Let's do it. Just. Oh, oh because oh, oh no 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 Pat no no she's floating oh so right. she actually is above us yeah oh. okay that's what that camera that's is what about. that makes sense yep Arigato. just fucking chill out do you want some narc <laughs> do you want some uh, narc uh, right let's look over here oh how modern. Are we, are we just gonna do the Fresh Prince intro right now? <laughs> which, wait, which Fresh Prince intro? Like, where, where he's on the plane and the stewardess is there. Yeah. And he's all like... Look at her eyeball. Baby, that's, that's always the creepiest baby, thing. Baby, I know, I know we just met, but... You look like you got something really important to say. I mean, I think you can open up to me. You tell me what you want to say. Can I fluff your pillow? All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Have we established Jonathan Ingram? Oh, I love him. He's great. Have we established this <gasps> fuck? Is he saying this out loud? Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Oh my god. I can't believe this shit. This it's called Moonface. <laughs> What are we doing right now? You wanted to play it. This is your rock <laughs> game. What are we doing? Oh man. Oh, oh that's great. Is, is he saying? Yeah. This? Yeah, he is. She's talking. Okay, she. They, we, they are talking. Okay. She's giving the explanation for why oh, she's wearing what she's a, wearing. There's a rubber suit that causes them to not atrophy out. Okay. Yeah. See? Huh? She's giving... The, My legs are actually disgusting. She's giving the explanation. Okay. Because if you work in space all the time... So you got a bad face of the moon... A bad case of the moon face and bird leg. She's got bird leg going on. Mm. Damn. Shawty, that bird leg was fine, though. Something... Fine something, like a motherfucker. Something, something drumstick. <laughs> So, like, something, something chicken head. Yeah. All right. All right. And what about the little tie? What about your little... The bow. Oh, what? Really? Oh. See, he's, he's like... trying to be a scumbag, yeah. and she won't let him because she's got too much she's, information. She's destroying all his scumbag attacks. It's fantastic. I would look. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see. First space colony was 2010. Uh, immigration was open three years later. Yes! Oh, that's low. Wait, that's wait. Population of beyond. Is one million people. Okay, so they're super early. Nearly one third of the uh, population is comprised of second generation immigrants because yeah. it's been 20 years. Okay, so, so yeah, 30 years, a million people. That's, that's super, that's overly reasonable. Yeah, yeah. It's, he, it's almost conservative. If they said a billion, that'd be ridiculous. It's almost like, conservative. Like, how would you even get a billion people from the Earth? Yeah. The yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Space Adaptation Syndrome, or SAS. Is the symptoms one experiences during an adaptation of zero gravity. Very from person to person, but everyone gets moon face and, and chicken leg. Oh, man. One to two hours of weightlessness. I wonder if that's real. Well, being being a, a, a flight attendant in space is there's a lot there's a lot you got to deal with, man. Uh, Normally, we'd spend the night in an Earth orbiting space station, then travel the rest of the way in an orbital transfer. This is direct, which takes two days. Oh yeah, because Beyond's at the Lagrange point, which is way out past the moon. Okay, that's where the colonies be at. Two days. Gundam. That's still crazy fast. Yeah. That's impressive. But, like, do you think flying to Japan takes a while? 13 hours? Yeah, try 48. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can do half the planet in 13 hours. Yeah. Therefore, I don't know. Yeah, but... Because yeah. I don't have math. But, but really, spaceships fly very, very much faster. Very, than very much faster. Than plane ships. And they go straight in a line. Yes. They don't have to curve. Well, sometimes they might actually have to curve due to... 
planets. But you know how like getting to a country, another country means you go, the higher you go, the shorter the ride. Yeah. So you you you, pull, you make an arc to come back down to speed it up. I was under the impression that was only because of the the deformation due to like 2D maps. Well, the it's as far as I understand the the planes go in that arc because it also yeah, but time. You, there, you're still going in a straight line. It's just yeah, but it's just you, on, an, arc, on, an arc of a straight on, line. Yeah, but yeah. on a globe, it's a straight line, but on a 2D map, it's like a curve, right? Okay, but in a space station like trip, though, you're going, you're looking at that dot and traveling straight yeah, to I'm it. Yeah, I'm going to go that dot. But what about the curvature of space-time, Wooly? Oh, fuck off. Don't tell me to fuck off! Tell Einstein to go fuck off! His fault! Don't you mean Newton? No, I mean Einstein. Okay. You're thinking of the the, the the rotation of heavenly bodies. I'm talking about the dipples in space-time. Because, well, yeah, but we're not dealing with planets. Okay, fair yeah. enough, fair enough. Uh, Turns out when something's big, it affects time. I don't get it. What you got for me? What do you think? Take the medicine. I don't want to take it, though. Well, fine, then don't take it. Fuck you. What do you want? What do you want? Fuck you. We Hit got, the flirt we, button. We've unlocked the flirt button. Hit the flirt button. All right, Ingram, what you got? Show me your game. Yeah, what do you how got? How fucking scummy are you? How does you? that sound? Teach, teach these youngins how a 25-year-old used to do it back in the day. All right, that's a, that's a decent starter. How does having dinner under the stars after we land sound? Yeah, uh, she's, she sees a, nothing but stars every day, I idiot. I think that's a great idea. You're free. How, how about, about you showing show you me a, around? Yeah. Trying to do my job here, buddy. If you're from, oh, man, this guy. Doshio. One more. Okay. Okay. Now she's just like he's repeating the same lines at me. Now I'm just being a huge Quick, ass. Quick, show her the photo of Hojo. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen this dude? Yeah, actually. Uh, what? Wha about what you think about her? Wow. Right? Yeah. That's a real human. Unlike are, you. Are these drugs? This is what humans without moon face look like. I mean, it, it would <laughs> help her education. Did you know I used to be a police knot? <laughs> yeah! The BOCs. Oh, man. All right. All right, let's get right, let's, out of here. Oh, well, shut up. Get out. All right, let's not take it, then. Yeah, all right. Should we take it Why to see you, what happened? You keep asking her for medicine and then saying, no, I don't want you. I was medicine. seeing if I got a different... A different all right, well, let's back out there. All right. Ha Let her go! <laughs> uh, oh, Jillian. No, uh, Jonathan. Jonathan. Okay, bye.